This next Fox Magazine story is literally very sweet. It's about a man named John Snyder and his love of ice cream. But John doesn't just love it. He makes it and sells it and does it all very well. Now, this is no vanilla chocolate strawberry kind of ice cream. It's some very different, very special stuff. Let us whet your appetite. Well, now, ice cream man, ice cream man. upon my street. I'm a real food person. I love food. I love desserts. I love ice cream. And, uh, and I really wanted to, I was trying to think of a venture to start in downtown to kind of contribute to, to New York. Um, and this idea came about. People like to, to, to think there's a real difference between gelato and, and ice cream. Gelato just means ice cream in Italian. It's just the Italian word for ice cream. We, we sell ice cream here. We sell, we, we call it gelato because it's, it's, it, it's a recipe based on the Italian tradition. Now, the Italians tend to use less fat in their ice creams. They tend to produce ice cream in a method that, that uh, incorporates less air into the ice cream. Uh, so it keeps, even though it has less fat, it keeps a very uh, kind of creamy consistency. Um, and the Italians also intensely flavor their ice cream. My grandfather uh, was involved, was a contractor, and he, he, um, he built a lot of the Carvel stores in the New York area for Tom Carvel. The last one he built, he kept, um, basically for my grandmother to run. So that was in 1951. And uh, as a kid in the, in the mid to late 70s, I used to work there in the summertime. After, uh, after I graduated high school, went to college for a year, uh, took a trip to Italy in, this, in the summer of 83. Love the ice cream. Came back from that trip, it was a three week trip, and got very inspired to start something up in New York. Kind of wanted to bring the product to New York or a, a variation of the product. I was 19. Spring of '84 started Ciao Bella, um, which has become uh, come to become a, a pretty large nationwide ice cream company. By the fourth year, I'd say it's when I started getting the idea of. Uh, I, I guess I, feel, I started feeling really kind of burnt out. Um, I didn't. When you're 19, I don't think you really expect to, to continue something. Uh, you know, a year or two years is a lifetime. Uh, so four years went by, and I sold it in 1989, uh, uh, entered Columbia uh, University, finished my bachelor's degree, I went right into the business school, got a, uh, an MBA from Columbia, and, and uh, started a, a Wall Street career. I mean, I enjoyed it, but there were parts of the, the Wall Street phenomenon that I had a, uh, somewhat of a problem with, and, I, and I, 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 never, I never took it to heart the way I remember taking Chabella to heart. Then September happened. Um, our family went through a little bit of a, a crisis with that. My brother was working in one of the uh, towers of the Trade Center, and he had a close call. He was, he was fine, but it, it was a close call. And it, sort of all these feelings started kind of coming together, the idea of wanting to do something else, uh, always missing my old, uh, my old company. This time around, I, you know, I had some of my own savings to, uh, to, that I could pull together. And, um, found found some found this space, uh, did some renovating, and uh, and um, we opened up about six weeks ago. If loving you was ice cream, oh, I could be the ice cream man. If Is there any advice that you would give to entrepreneurs who are getting ready to start their own business here? Um, I would say go for it. Um, I, I think in doing anything um, entrepreneurial, they'll, they'll get advice from everywhere and telling them to do all kinds of things in maybe a different way than, than you're instinctively thinking. And I would say go with your instinct. Um, do it, what is in your heart and, uh, and, and where, what brings you the most joy and then success I think will follow. I love you. And for those of you in the neighborhood, John's place can be found in downtown New York, right next to the Lower East Side Tenement Museum.